This could be our final episode with Chelsea. I'm not ready. Hi everybody, I'm Kelsey, I'm single, and we thought it would be funny if I tried the 100 baby challenge. It's this challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one matriarch and they are supposed to have 100 children, all with different parents. There's a lot of rules, so if you're interested, they will be linked below. Last time, we didn't have any children, but we did get pregnant with three days to go until the age up. The end is nigh for the matriarch, not for the challenge. It is the youngest female that becomes the new matriarch. Let's make some babies. <laughs> so we're just waiting for John pretty much to age out. Uh, Chelsea's newly pregnant. Let's get uh, the, the babies more comfy. They're all three hungry. They can have uh, food together. That'll be fine. Oh, there's our latest uh, baby daddy right there. He's gonna take our food for it, from us. Cool. Those hot dogs are for my children. We need to get Chelsea's next suitor going. Uh, so we're gonna need to find them. Freya is pretty good. Have you done your homework yet? No. Why don't you do your homework and you gotta get a skill to level four. So we'll have you chat in a kid's chat room and you also haven't done your homework, but you're really tired. And he has not done his homework yet. So you need to do your homework, buddy. Oh, look at all the kiddos. We got our army of toddlers that all look the same. Oh, they're both doing their homework at Chelsea's end of Chelsea's bed. Good job, Freya. I'm proud of you, sweetie. Go get that up so you can become a, a student very soon and become a teen to help mom around the house because we're definitely gonna need it because John's gonna be aging out soon. Okay, he needs some bath time, but we don't have anyone to give him a bath right now. So let's have him work on his skills instead. Go potty, buddy. And then maybe work on some thinking. All right, Jamie, he did his homework, it's complete. Maybe just do some extra credit for fun. You're level three! Yo! Okay, so we're close. We just need one more level for both of these girls. Why is Stacy sad? Oh, because Stacy's smelly. You're fine. You'll, you'll survive the smelliness. Sirius is more smelly than you are, and he's fine. Did you finish your homework? Or extra credit, too? He's too tense. All right. Fine. Why don't you... Take a shower, be a little less tense. And then can you do your homework, please, sir? Although it's 6 a.m., so he's probably gonna go to school pretty soon. Everything is a little bit stressful. Oh, did you seriously do that, bro? I just really want him to do his extra credit. I bet he'll still age out, but I wanna be extra sure. All right, little girls, go to school. All of you go to school, kids. Stacy reached level four. You did not need to do that, Stacy. What skills are you working on? Stop communicating and start thinking more. Okay, study hard, kids. They all went to school without me because I'm so anxious about everyone getting everything done. She's hungry. Oh, Stacy's thinking level three. Good job, Stacy. All right, you're done with that. All you need is potty, I think. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we gotta pay our bills. Wait, why? Why never, never paying bills? I asked you to pay bills twice last episode. Yeah, Please pay your bills, Chelsea. There we go, all right, fine. Okay, what's up with Tegan? Tegan's just being a, a crazy pants. And then you need to potty train Tegan. Tegan acquired the potty skill, good job, Teague. You got it. Yes! Tegan, you don't have to pay potty anymore. All you gotta do is sleep. Chelsea, what are you doing? Why don't you like mop and clean up some stuff? Actually, you know what? We'll hire a repair service and see if maybe a, an el eligible person strolls along that can impregnate our Chelsea. Have a quick shower here. Oh wait, our kids are home. Okay, Nova's a B student. John's grades are up. He's an A student and Freya's a B student. Okay, John, why don't you call over your dad and invite him to hang out while you age up. He'll be right over, yay! Oh, it was a woman. Ah, uh, rats. I don't think this woman can impregnate Chelsea. Hey, look, oh my gosh, I literally thought that that was our son. And it wasn't, it was his dad. Oh my gosh. Corbin, I'm really sad that Corbin wasn't there for, oh my goodness, Tegan is so hungry that Tegan might be taken away if we don't feed them. Cook a garden salad real fast. Everything's gonna be fine. Chelsea, that is not for you. That is for your kid. I don't care if you made it for yourself. Tegan's eating that. You can make your own. I can't believe you didn't make food for your own family. But the cake's out and ready for him and Chelsea's over here. Such a mess. Go on, Tegan. Have that veggie casserole that your mom 
made for herself instead of you. <laughs> now she's just laughing it up over there. Finish that salad up, and then you don't need it. You don't need one of those because you're gonna be gone soon. Leave that down. Thank you. Blow out your candles, buddy. I know he's super miserable. Come on, buddy. You're gonna blow out your candles. Your dad's here and your mom, even though they're watching TV over there. They're still here to celebrate you and they love you very much. And John, I liked having you around. Pick a number one through 41. It's 30. 30, so, all right, John's erratic. Say a quick goodbye to John, our dear sweet boy. You are super helpful around the house. Okay, we're gonna manage worlds and we're gonna move him in with his twin sister now that they're of the same age once more. And then Chelsea's finishing up. Splish, splash. All right, and you can go to bed. Oh, Chelsea's just chilling here. Oh, it's Corbin! He's like, it's dirty in here, Chelsea. And she's like, I need to pee, please get out. She's like, get out, I need to, oh, she just peed in front of him. Well, apparently Corbin and Chelsea are still rather close. She's like, a pregnant woman's gotta pee here, buddy. We're not here to mess around. I'm glad that all of my children are asleep at eight o'clock so that I can just focus on Chelsea getting her needs where they need to be. Oh, she's thinking about Naya. I do that sometimes too. Oh, there's aliens at a bar tonight. Oh, Chelsea does need to go meet a new man, but I think we're gonna stick it out at home because these two kids look like they're dying. We'll just open that up and uh, get this out here and wake up these two Todds. Okay, our Todds are up. They're doing their thing here. Chelsea needs some sleep, so why don't you go sleep until I need you to bathe them? How are you doing? Oh, oh, okay. So there's a monster under a bed, and that's why they're both awake. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Sometimes I forget they're kids and they can have that interaction. <laughs> Nova finished her schoolwork for the day. Great, and then you're gonna scrap that and uh, draw some vehicles. Yeah, just ignore the scary stuff in the, in the in the bedroom, it's fine. She can't draw because she's uncomfortable. Sleep in mom's bed, honestly. Oh, she can't sleep at all. Uh, okay, um, can you nap downstairs? You look real tired, sweetie. I know that you're unhappy. Just nap, yeah, just nap downstairs. What's mom up to? Yeah, she's giving a baby a bath. How's Stacy doing? Stacy's just fine. Your level three's on everything, so actually Stacy could age up. It's almost Sirius's birthday, ah, flip. No, you don't need to clean that up, Chelsea. You know what you do need to clean up? Give a bath to Stacy. Sirius needs to do stuff. No, Sirius, you got things to do, like potty. You're gonna potty until you don't need to potty anymore, and that's how that works. Chelsea's not feeling too hot from being pregnant, but that's okay. Are you feeling better? Okay, cool. I mean, Chelsea could take care of that, but she's a little busy trying to take care of all of her other children. Like, what are you doing? Asked a spur monster under the bed. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. You're so uncomfortable. Uh, you know what? Take take a take a bubble bath. Oh my gosh. Okay. Why don't you spray the monster under the bed, Chelsea? Once you're done with this, it's just such a bumpy night because she has to spray for these freaking monsters. You should be able to sleep now. Okay. You can't. Can you sleep in mom's bed? Actually, don't put to bed Nova, put to bed Freya. She's like, why don't you go to bed in my bed, sweetie? I know that you you know, saw some monsters. She's gonna tuck her in. She needed some extra love. Despite all of Chelsea's flaws, she really is a good mom. Except for that, <laughs> then we go back to Sirius on the potty, who has leveled up the potty and does not need to be doing this anymore and is yet still miserable on the potty. Chelsea's uncomfortable. What else do you need? You need some fun and some food. Why don't you grab a serving and watch TV? Best of both worlds. Oh, she's thinking about one of her kids. Which one? Which one are you? Sirius. Sirius is doing pretty okay. Tegan's fine. Working on those blocks. Kind of hungry. Ooh, that means Chelsea needs to make some more food. It's busy being a mom. It's not all fun and woohooing. Sirius reached level, speaking level three. Good job, Sirius. On to the next one. We'll have two age ups at least. I really want the kids to be teens so they can help more. <laughs> she needs to go to school. So does she. But I wanted her to finish her homework. All right, she's going to school now. Dang it. Oh my gosh, he's almost done. Wait, who's farting in the bathroom? Yo, is he done? He's level threes on everything. Okay, let's age these two up into kids. It's time for Stacy and Sirius to be aged up. Ooh, it's Harvest Fest! You know what that means. 
More uh, gnomes for my collection. Why is there a missing one right here? Did that man that's a kleptomaniac that Chelsea had father the last children steal one of our... Oh my gosh. Blow it out, buddy. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to see what Sirius looks like. Yeah. Okay, Sirius. Pick a number one through four. A random number between one and four is one. Great, so he's creative. Pick a number one through 30. The answer is 15. He's neat. Oh, we love a neat kid. They help around the house. Oh, she, oh my goodness, wait. I thought we aged up Sirius at first, but we aged up Stacy. So Stacy's neat. She is so cute. Now she can do all her stuff on her own. So she doesn't even need to worry about it. Aria's calling. Just to chat, that's fine. We can talk with Aria after we age up our baby. Bran would like to come over. Yeah, come on over, Bran. Okay, we're gonna celebrate the twins aging up. Sirius aged up. Okay, pick a number one through four. The answer is one. One, so Sirius is also creative. Pick a number one through 30. It's 14. 14. So, a uh, vegetarian is our Sirius, a vegetarian. Oh, she's talking to Aria. She's like, Hi, Aria, I hope you've been doing well since you've moved out of the house. Things here have been good. You know, I'm looking forward to my birthday, AKA not at all looking forward to my birthday. All Aria spread some juicy gossip about Olive. How dare you? Yes, Brian, you can come over. Oh, this is different. What is love? We found an unset love letter from Freya to her teacher. Oof, yeah, a cute but inappropriate. Sirius is doing okay. There's a monster under the bed? Oh my goodness. I know there's a way to fix this but I forget what that way is. There's like a night light that you need for kiddos to make sure they don't see monsters. We'll just have one of these over here. All right, maybe that'll help too. Yes, the monster's going away. Bye, we don't need you. Okay, Stacy's already doing her homework cause she's such a good bean. Look, it's Brian. Ari's wondering if I wanna come over. No, you can come over to us. When is she? She's in second trimester. I think she should go out. Maybe we should take this opportunity. Well, the kids are gonna come home from school soon. Oh, Bran just had a nice little bath and is now in his towel, thinking about stuff with his new sunglasses. Bran, you're one of a kind. Everyone just needs to like, what? don't sleep in there. Go to bed in a bed. No, don't sleep in the hot tub. That's unsafe. Gotta put my foot down as a parent. Tegan's upset. Tegan, don't climb all the way upstairs. Go the bed. Go to bed. Go to bed down here. What are you doing? Everyone's in bed. Great. Who's gonna wake up first? It's Sirius that woke up first, and he needs to use the restroom and get some food. Don't do your homework first, honey. There you go. Now he's in a happy mood where I can select those things. He's gonna practice. He's gonna shoot around. He wants to be our Quidditch star, our Sirius Black. Actually, he's wearing a black T-shirt. <gasps> He's wearing a black t-shirt. How are you doing, girl? She's fine, she just needs to use the toilet. And now she needs some fun and some food. Those always tend to go together in this household for some reason. Ooh, wow. That was mad. Young lady, please be more careful with your stuff. Chelsea is awake and active. Oh, she can take family leave. Okay, we really do gotta get her a new bae. Sirius is doing his homework, so he's pretty good for school. He's sick though. Why don't you take mom's medicine that she has? Moms, they always just have stuff in their purse. You know what I'm saying? There you go. You fix that illness. Phew, he says. I needed that. Thanks, mom. What are we on? Third trimester? Shoot. Okay, we need to seduce someone. <gasps> Tegan's so hungry, he's gonna be taken away if we don't feed him. Okay, okay, we got this. Shoot. Okay, Chelsea. Okay, cook a garden salad for the whole family. Ugh, I'm sorry, Tegan. Oh, Chelsea's sick now? Amazing. Wow. We can't get a, a night off here in the Peach May household. That's okay. Let's buy some medicine for Chelsea here. We don't have time to be sick. Oh, no, no place in the world. Just take that medicine. All right, there you go, Chelsea. And Tegan, grab a serving. There you go. Chelsea, you need to go use the restroom, so go use the toilet. She took medicine and successfully combated her cold. Proud of you, sweetie. Oh my gosh, why? Why is everything falling apart? Oof. It's It's tough times here. It's tough times. She just started her homework because she's complete. She's complete and he's complete. All right, everybody is ready to roll for tomorrow, except this one. But once she is, we can have them all go to school and then Chelsea's gonna have a day 
to go. Are you really hanging out with your sisters while you do your homework? I mean, that's fine. You know what? Socialize is fine. Nova's complete. Yeah. All right, kids, we got it going on. Everybody's ready to go. His skills to level two. It's fantastic. Everything's going fine, kind of. Ooh, Sirius is motor skill level five. Dang, Sirius, over achiever here. Why don't you uh, finish that up and take care of some other needs? He's like, I just really got into the game, you know? You're not feeling well, everyone's getting sick. It's like real life. When one person in the household is sick, everybody gets sick. Can you do extra credit? Or did you already do that? Oh, go to school. Wait, why aren't you at school? It's a Thursday. Why aren't my kids at school? Why are no, oh, it's a holiday. It's Harvest Fest. No! Well, that's okay. Chelsea's not aging, so it's like not a big deal. It's a family day. It's fine. Wait. Oh no, here they come. Wait! <gasps> all of ours disappeared! Where did all of our gnomes go? Oh, Renee is wanting to know if I'll meet her some taste. Yeah, let's just go to a museum with Renee. You know, Chelsea was in the middle of fixing all our needs, but sometimes you can't always be perfect. I love that she uses her children asking her to go places as an excuse to go flirt with people. Let's give her, a, invite Renee to feel the baby, compliment Renee's outfit, uh, maybe give her a hug, but then you need to really go pee. She needs to go. But she's like, thanks for inviting me out, Renee. It's good to see you. I need to go pee. No. Oh, she just peed herself. That's not gonna be good to seduce people with. I'm gonna have to like keep you washing your hands and brushing your teeth because in The Sims, that's what helps <laughs> your hygiene. She's gonna keep brushing her teeth and washing her hands until her hygiene's decent. There we go, that's solid. All right, good, we fixed that up. Is there a man in the house? Oh, that's a man, who are you? Wait, this is back where, <gasps> this is back where Chelsea saw the dead body. Who's this? Andrew Patterson. Give him a little flirt. This woman's like, I don't want to be in the room. Let's uh, ask about his day. Let's compliment his appearance. Oh, it's a steamy exchange already. He's paranoid. Interesting. Offer him a rose maybe. Uh, compliment his appearance. Be like, I got you this rose and I just met you. He's like, thanks. <laughs> First kiss. Oh my gosh, we're just going there. Oh, no, we're not. We're not going there. Oh, no, he's not liking it. Okay, okay, okay. Self-deprecating joke. Uh, discuss interest. We're gonna backtrack a little bit. He's got a, a deep voice. Wait, no, 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 no. Uh, be thankful to him. Wait, what? Chelsea, no, don't be tired. Go hang out with him. Why are you looking at a boat? No, is he leaving? Oh, stop that man. Stop that man. We were trying to, ooh, there's a new man. We're gonna flirt it up with a multitude of men. This, this guy looks really cute. Chelsea, get in there. Zachariah Galvin. Yeah, Zachariah Galvin, that's the man for us. He's like, wow, it's raining. Stuff. Is this our girl, Ginny? Wait, Zachariah. First kiss with Zachariah. Just jump in there, Chelsea. Sorry, right in front of Ginny. Ginny's like, I'll let you two have some privacy. <laughs> Zachariah was down for some Chelsea action. This guy is Woohoo in the lighthouse! Zachariah's down to play and we're ready for this. Oh my god, Nova's an A student! Oh. Proud of you, Nova! Oh my god. Wait, how did that happen? They, they didn't go to school today, or did they? I'm so confused. Also, isn't that her child too? Which one's that one? Isn't that Theo? Oh my god, it is! Ah! She just ran into like three kids. Okay, but you gotta... You gotta have some woohoo in this lighthouse. Ooh, look at she's up here. <gasps> They're gonna woohoo in the lighthouse. Oh my gosh, this is fun. I've never seen this one. All right, she's like, come inside the house. He's like, okay. I just met this woman literally seconds ago. Wait, what? Woohoo is that great? Oh, she passed out. You know, that's not a place we want someone to be when they're gonna woohoo. Okay, you know what, I'm taking Chelsea home. But we have someone that will woohoo with her, so we're ready to go so we can invite him over immediately once she gives birth. Oh my gosh, there's a new gnome. And it's a teddy bear, it's so cute, look at him. Oh, Nova aged up, okay. <laughs> I was looking for the gnome. Pick a number one through 12. It's 11. 11, so she likes nature. Pick a number one through five. That would be one. So she is a curator, she wants to collect everything the world has to offer. Pick a number one through 42. It's 33. 33, she's an insider. 
kind of a grab bag, but we'll take it. Okay, oh my gosh, is she not the cutest? <gasps> oh my gosh, I wonder if she'll be like the type of girl to kind of like wanna be this like health food like influencer. But she's beautiful. Wow, she really glowed up there. I bet Freya's gonna be real pretty too. Oh my God. <gasps> I just realized all the gnomes are in the children's room. I hate that. Oh, I don't like that. I love our gnomes, but that was truly horrifying. I hate it. I'm gonna ignore them this time. I normally like to. Oh, what a responsible clean bean. I wish you could cook for us. That would be convenient. But you know who can cook for us? Mom. Oh yeah, she was gonna cook a grand meal. She was gonna cook a tofurkey dinner because it's a holiday. Oh, are you sleeping at the foot of mom's bed because you can't get to the bed because of freaking gnomes? Seems like there's some fireworks going on for the holiday. I can't see them though. There they are. Oh, happy harvest fest. She's ready to pop. Our Chelsea's all pregnant and ready to go. I feel like so anxious because if the, the, oh, she's thinking about Charlie. I was literally just about to say, these could be some of our final moments with Chelsea. Wow. And she's really come so far. She used to be not good at pretty much everything and now she's good at pretty much everything. Oh, she's gone into labor. Okay, she is bursting. It is time, it is the moment. Let's have the baby at the hospital and we're going. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. What if this is our last children? Oh, she just, she just beat herself. I mean, that was inevitable. Oh, classic oh, Chelsea moment. Snarbs. Look at her beat herself. She almost looks like a brunette because she's so dirty. Okay, wow. What if this is our last time? I don't think it will be because I because we have another dad ready to go. So I don't think this is gonna be our last time in the hospital. Who's this? Oh, we already seduced him. All right, let's take this baby out and put a new baby in. It's a boy! Let's look to our uh, commenters to see what name we should name the baby next. As always, make sure to leave your baby na names in the comments below for me to check them out if you want a baby name to be chosen. Girl named Taylor, boy named Taylor. The point of the comment is to name the next child Taylor. I love it, Taylor. We're naming this child after you. Simple, to the point, only one name, just like given. I love it. Taylor it is. <gasps> it's another boy. Should we name it Taylor again? <laughs> So we got Taylor and Taylor, Taylor with an E and Taylor with an O. We had two boys. So these boys are not going to be the matriarch. So right now the next matriarch would be Tegan. Wait, we can't even get pregnant, can we? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that right? Eight. Okay, we've got two days until she ages up into an elder. All right, so we need to get Nova aged up so that we can get a new kid into the house. It's all on you, Nova. She has no skills and hasn't started her homework yet and is a B student. It's fine, we're fine, everything's fine. I'm fine, there's a baby crying. It's Taylor. <laughs> that joke's not gonna get old. Chelsea, get up there. All right, focus back, focus back. You're sad, but it's okay. okay she's doing her extra credit which is good. Okay, she still needs to get a task. You know what, I think I'm just gonna make her play video games. She's just gonna get really good at video games. You can be more than one thing. Oh wait, you know what, art. I think art actually is pretty fast. Oh my God, it's Friday. She has 16 minutes until she goes to school. Shoot, she needs to go to school. Oh no, I shouldn't have done extra credit. I should have done the skill. Now she can't possibly go to an A student. Oh no, I'm so mad. Oh my gosh. This is really gonna go down to the wire here. Chelsea, wake up and super efficient baby care this baby, all right? And then you can sleep. Tegan is sad because Tegan needs sleep and some hygiene. Tegan, why don't you just go to bed really quick first though? And actually, you know what, Chelsea, why don't you give a bath to Tegan? Chelsea, go give Tegan a bath first. Oh shoot. Yeah, find out what's wrong with, with Taylor. Oh. Taylor one and Taylor two, Taylor E. <laughs> Taylor E just wants to chat. Just talk, chat with Taylor E apparently. And then uh, give Tegan a bubble bath. Okay, really? Oh my gosh, 
Taylor with an E is giving me a lot of pain here. We have more than one kid, Taylor, all right? <gasps> it's almost Chelsea's birthday, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, no. We still got two days. Don't you scare me like that, game. We're fine. At least we have our final man primed and ready. And he's a good looking guy. Now you need to go to bed. You need to go to bed. Chelsea needs to go to bed, but needs to fix uh, Taylor's needs right there. Needs to sleep. Oh my gosh. I'm so distracted right now from all of the needs of my children. Oh my gosh, everything's fine. She's home. She's really angry, but she's home. It's fine. You're just angry though. You can do, you can do stuff. I don't care. I don't care, young lady. You're gonna fix your skills and all of your stuff before anything else. All right, angry painting. Grades are up for Nova. Ugh, she's so close and Sirius has got a C still. Why do you have a C but your sister has an A? Freya is an A student, so Freya can age up actually. Oh, I forgot that Freya and uh, her sister are twins. Oh my God, everything, everything went bad because uh, I forgot that we cooked food and then left it. Okay, you're level two on skill. Okay, she's almost level three with that, and then she'll do her homework. Okay, and then she'll be ready to go for tomorrow. <gasps> we might just make it, guys. We might just make it to an, uh, our last pregnancy. No, don't you do anything else. No, don't you dare. Sell to a collector, and then go do more. You're fine. You big drama queen. Be like, I don't want to do this anymore. But you're getting more famous for this, so I think you'll be fine. We're gonna age up Freya. Oh my God, there's babies crying. Chelsea, why are you in a hot tub? Chelsea's in a freaking hot tub, just living her best. And I'm like, no, stop. Oh, is that your angry painting? I guess it's fine. Wait, is, are you seriously not, you're that low? Okay, Freya just aged up. Pick a number one through 12. It's six. Wait, booty. Pick a number one or two. The answer is two. So also a mixologist is is a, a glutton, a mixologist. Oh, that's kind of fun. Uh, pick a number one through 42. It's 12. And a geek. Aw, Freya's a fun one. Ooh, and she's also freaking beautiful, just like her sister. Oh my goodness, what a star. I don't care about anyone else besides you aging out of my home. You are level two out of three, you can do this. Is that really your mad painting? Ugh, she'd be in a, if she's in a better mood, she'll probably do it better. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. You know what? Fine. I am so stressed. It's 10 p.m. <gasps> it's 10 p.m. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Take a brisk shower. All right, you're fine with energy. All right, go ahead. I know you're mad. It's fine. Take that brisk shower. Take a nice pee. <gasps> you're feeling inspired. Great. Okay, classic painting. Do a big one. Just get in there. Come on, queen. You got this. You're almost there. Come on. Yes. Level three painting skill. Okay, okay, buddies. All right, here we go. And get, do your homework. It's almost Taylor's birthday. Probably it's also other Taylor's birthday as well. You're doing your homework. Oh my God, what a queen. So once she's done with that, we're gonna fix yes. her needs and then we're gonna give her extra credit. Whew, are we gonna make it? I don't know. Oh my gosh, I don't know. You got it. Home stretch, home stretch, home stretch. You did it. All right, Nova has done her homework. She is up to skill level three, but she is only good as a high school B student. So we want to make sure that she's get that extra, extra stuff. She's like, you know, I really need you to get out of the house so I can have some more babies and stop aging. And she's like, mom, that's weird. Everyone is eating and she's doing extra credit like a good girl that she is. Chelsea, give Tegan a bubble bath. Tegan's upset. Poor Tegan's being kind of neglected because I haven't been able to k take care of Tegan because I'm so focused on moving our girl out. Oh my gosh. Nova, yes, Nova. Extra credit is complete. That's right, girl. Okay, I beyond like having her do, I mean, can we even get this done? Just work carefully. You know what? If you pass out, you pass out. You're gonna be fine. There you go. Very focused. It's Saturday? <gasps> no, it's not. It is not Saturday. How did I not notice that until just now? She ages up in a day. We're not gonna make it. Tegan's gonna be the new matriarch. And I didn't name it the right name. Oh my gosh. Chelsea's gonna become an elder and Tegan's gonna be the next one. Should I just rename Tegan? I feel like that kind of ruins it, doesn't it? I'm gonna move all these gnomes. <laughs> They all set up camp in the bedroom and it's weird. Only like one bed was usable because of all these freaking gnomes. I don't know what to do here. Taylor and Taylor should have, one of them should have been a girl. Yeah, Miles, you can come over. 
I'm not, I wanted to even like have all the kids over for her birthday and I'm just not even in the mood because we're not prepared. Okay, why don't you cook for your siblings after you're done pouting? Are you done with your schoolwork? You're not. Oh wait, that was Miles! Aw, Miles! Tegan's just a helpless toddler. I know I'm doing my best game, okay? <sighs> One day till age up and it's Saturday. I don't think this is gonna happen. I don't know what to do right now. I can't let Chelsea go. She is, she, we understand each other, you know? We just, we have a connection here. Wow. This could be it, fam. This could be the final, the final kids. We're at 32. And that could be the, the end of Chelsea's reign as matriarch. All right, Tegan, I guess let's get to know you. What's, what's your personality like? Te little Tegan, inquisitive. That's all we got to go off of. That's pretty cute though. Everyone's stuff is complete and done. They're both excellent C students. She's an average B, B student, but she's a good B student. So there's hope for Nova yet. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I'm like really nervous. Oh, she's getting in bed with mom. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Chelsea, <laughs> don't get old. <laughs> Nova's responsibility trait is within range of, res of uh, responsible. That's awesome. Oh, and she's reached, she's logic logicked up. And she also like, <laughs> she finished her school project and she extra credit has been awarded. Okay. So if Chelsea doesn't age up before she gets an A, we probably will get her to an A. Oh, it's Taylor and Taylor's birthday. Is it Chelsea's birthday too? Days till age up zero? Oh no. Yep, it's her birthday today. By Monday, she'll be a, an elder and it's gonna be Tegan <laughs> as the new matriarch. This feels kind of like the end of Game of Thrones. You know, unexpected. <laughs> slightly unwanted. <laughs> this is our last day with her. It's like raining outside. <laughs> she seems like she's pretty happy though. You know, I think she did a really good job. 32 kids is nothing to, nothing to sneeze at. And Tegan will make a fine matriarch, I'm sure. Chelsea's looking great on her last day as a, an adult. Why don't you grab some food though? Why don't you make some garden salads for the family? Is anyone else just really sad right now? Is it just me? So I feel really sad right now. Freya's real hungry, but luckily for Freya, there's a garden salad outside. Or wait, did you just steal that garden salad from your mom? Grab that serving. Why are you eating that garden salad? Feeling forlorn. No one likes me. No one will ever like me. Why bother with anything anymore? This is Freya. Or this is our daughter that we're trying to push out of the house. But I want to tell her I'll always love her. Even if she didn't age up the day I needed her to. Wait, yeah, Taylor needs attention, Chelsea. Why aren't you going to Taylor? Honey, I know that you're trying to help, but you're really not. So why don't you uh, let let me take care of the kids, okay? Kids get in my way and then I can't help my babies. Wow, it's the matriarch and the future matriarch having it. It also just feels messed up that this is the matriarch because it's like a toddler, but Sometimes kids become royalty. 21 hours, yeah. You can't go to like one day of school. Celebrate Chelsea's birthday by throwing a rockin' birthday party, says the game. It's gonna age her up by like 2 a.m., so we're not gonna get it. And Tegan is the new matriarch. I really wanna rename Tegan. I think I'm just gonna do it. You know what? Sometimes in life, things don't work out the way you, can, you want them to. Sometimes you can't control everything, but the one thing I can control in The Sims is changing Tegan's oh, name. Because that's the only thing that's bothering me for some reason. And I will name the first child of Tegan, Tegan. So real talk. I was so excited about all the, the names that I chose for the actual new matriarch. But then we had two boys. And Tegan the person is perfectly perfect for the job. But Tegan the name isn't the same joke. I had this whole plan and I had like four different names. And I love the name Tegan. But it's also just a name and people change their names all, their t all the time. So it's my party. Tegan's name is changing. But I do have four different options for what that name would be. So I am not going to choose it myself. I'm going to randomly choose the name. Then the next matriarch's first child will be named Tegan. All right, so number one is Elsie. Number two is Kelly. Number three is Casey. And number four is Chelsea Jr. So we will find out what the name of our next matriarch is right now. Pick a number between one and four. 
That would be three. Three, so it is going to be Casey, which actually I think fits this character really well. And this way I can finally be at peace with the name and we can move on and throw Chelsea the wonderful birthday bash that she deserves to bring in her time as an elder. All right, it's, El it's Casey and Future Shmay. <gasps> you know what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna read it and accidentally say Kelsey all the time. And it didn't occur to me until just now when I almost said Kelsey and Peach K. Okay? Maybe this was a bad choice. But it's already been made. All right, Casey. So the next episode is going to be Chelsea's big birthday with all of her 32 children and a big send off. I'm really excited about it. I hope you are too. And I hope you all can forgive me for uh, my choices. <laughs> I'm not ready, but I'll see you guys next week. Bye.